Good morning, guys. How are you doing this morning? Monday morning. Excited to be with you. I was um, on the way into the office this morning. I was thinking about sort of where we left off on Saturday. I thought I just wanted to touch on that a little bit more. Saturday, as you recall, we talked a little bit about how you treat yourself and taking better care of ourselves and not making mountains out of molehills when it comes to little mistakes uh, that we make and allowing ourselves to receive that when people encourage us and praise us and recognize us and compliment us for us to be better receivers, that we keep that energy, that positive energy flowing through us. I wanted to just touch on this morning a little bit about how we talk to ourselves. You know, scientists today um, have so many different ways of measuring brain activity and scientists suggest today that they're, the average human being thinks somewhere between 60 to 70,000 thoughts each and every day. Yet, as amazing as that seems, what's uh, almost equally amazing is they suggest that somewhere around for the average human being, 93, 94% of our thoughts each and every day are habitual in nature. In other words, we're going to think 93 to 94% of the thoughts that we think today are the exact same thoughts that we thought yesterday, same thoughts that we thought the day before. You know, they say creatures are, of, are we are creatures of habit and, uh, you know, we good habits support us achieving things that are important to us. Bad habits certainly hold us back and are unbelievably strong. And much like uh, I'm taking the same route to the office this morning that I take virtually every day because we're creatures of habit. I had the same breakfast this morning that I have virtually every day. We're just creatures of habit. And so it is, uh, according to researchers, our minds are thinking the same thoughts over and over and over again. And so one of those challenges is our own self-talk. Now, some people, as soon as I say self-talk, uh, what do you mean by self-talk? What do you mean by that little voice inside? Well, that little voice that just said, what do you mean by that? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That little voice inside is saying the same things to us over and over on a habitual basis. So the question is, is are the things that it's saying to us, is our inner voice, or that little voice inside, or is it saying things that support us in achieving our goals or that are holding us back? And so... I know for years, every time I would be introduced to somebody and they'd introduce and they'd tell me their name, like I was so in consumed with what I was going to say next and wanting them to think a certain way about me and wanting me, wanting them to approve me that oftentimes I, uh, I completely forgot their name like within 30 seconds. Literally, we're a minute into the conversation, couldn't remember their name for the life of me. And I used to, then my self-talk was, I'm horrible at remembering names. I never remember people's names. And that really became a self-fulfilling prophecy because the more times that I said to that, that to myself, boy, the sun is really coming through the windshield this morning, isn't it? <laughs> the more I said that to myself, the more that that became a self-fulfilling prophecy because then I almost expected myself not to remember people's names. So uh, I'm trying to get a little bit better angle here. So one of the things that I learned many, many years ago was about affirmations and affirmations are simply statements that we say to ourselves over and over and over again. And they're statements that will help us to achieve our goals. There's statements that empower us, that serve us in really achieving the things that we want. So one of my affirmations every single morning uh, was that I quickly and easily remember people's names. I quickly and easily remember people's names. I quickly and easily remember people's names. And I would say that to myself. I, I had, oh, I don't know, probably 20, 25, 30 affirmations that I would say every single morning. That was one of them. And what began to happen was, as I got introduced to new people, all of a sudden, as soon as they said their name at a subconscious level, I began paying more attention. And I, oftentimes I'd ask them to repeat their name. And then I would repeat it back to them. I'd go, oh, that, you know, that's interesting. Uh, is that a family name? Who gave you that name? And how do you spell that? I just became much more interested, not purposefully. It was unintentional. It was at the at the unconscious or the subconscious level. I just became far more interested in people's names. And I'm not to suggest now, because somebody will call me out on this video, that I never forget somebody's name. But what has happened is I'm much, much better at remembering people's names today than I ever was before. And part of it was I just changed my self-talk about it. So... Uh, you know what? That happened to me too as it relates to getting up in the morning. I used to love to stay up late and, and sleep in. And so one of the affirmations that I added was um, I leap out of bed with courage while failure sleeps another hour. And I would say that every morning after I rose and every night before I went to bed and 
over a period of time, these affirmations began to change that that 94% of the, th- the, the thoughts that we think every day that are habitual, what I began to do is replace some limiting thoughts, some thoughts that just didn't empower me, just didn't serve me with thoughts that did empower me and did serve me. And so uh, one, of the, uh, one of the books I want to recommend to you is a book by Shad Hemstetler called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. It's a great book on the topic. There's many others out there. But I just want to encourage you to, be, uh, to begin to create some self-talk. You know it. You say things to yourself all the time that, you know, are not support, it, it, that are not supportive and not positive. Begin to shift those things by the power of affirmations. What you'll find is after affirming something for a day or a week or a couple of weeks, it's not going to necessarily change anything. But over a long period of time, if you consistently just spend that five minutes a day just going through a series of informations, you'll begin to plant seeds and water and fertilize those seeds. The next thing you know, you've got much more powerful self-talk that's going to support you in achieving the things that are important to you. So it's my thought for the day. I hope that helps you. I hope you have a terrific Monday. And uh, go out there and conquer your dreams. We'll see you tomorrow morning.